Hello everyone, welcome back to Yoga Librium, and welcome to day five of our Stepping Into Light Yoga Challenge. We're going to begin this one in child's pose, so go ahead and take your knees wide and send your arms forward, rest your forehead towards the floor. You may begin by gently rocking your head from side to side as you allow the weight of your hips to sink more and more over your heels. Connecting with your breath. And connecting to this present moment. And today's class is all about surrender. What does surrender mean to you? How would it feel to let go of something that no longer serves you? We're going to start to slide ourselves all the way up to seated. Rounding the spine, inhale, float the arms above your head. Exhale, gently open through your chest. Bringing the hands in front of you. Come back into child's pose. Inhale, lifting up, coming forward. Keep the knees dropping. Sink the hips to the floor, bend your elbows, and unravel through cobra all the way towards the floor. Press your hands down. Take your hips back over top of your heels. Return to child's pose. And we'll do it again. Inhale, rolling to sit on top of your heels. Arms float up above your head. Gently exhale, allow the chest to open. Sliding the hands back out into child's pose. Exhale, inhale, bringing yourself forward and through. Gently lower the hips down as you unravel through your cobra all the way down. Press your hands when you arrive and take the sit bones back over top of your heels. Back into child's pose, unraveling back up, rounding through your spine, inhale, float your arms up. Exhale, gently release and open your chest. Hands come back forward, taking you back into your child's pose. And then inhale, rolling forward. Drop the hips down, exhale, unravel through your cobra. Pressing your hands at the bottom, rolling back over top of the knees and back into child's pose. This time inhale, roll forward and come into your tabletop position. Beautiful. Keeping connected to your breath, sink the chest, open up for your cow spine and exhale, coming into cat. Inhale to sink the chest down and exhale, pressing the floor away for your cat back. Inhale, exhale, and inhale, coming through neutral. Beautiful job. We're going to float the right knee up, keeping the knee bent. We're going to draw some circles here with the knee. So take that knee out to the side and then bring it down and around. Out to the side, down and around, one more like this. Nice. And then we're going to switch the direction. So drop knee to knee, take it out to the side and back. Two more like this. Beautiful. And after this third one, as you exhale round, draw your knee to your forehead. And then exhale, extend that leg back and lift it up. Drop it back down and take it out beside you. You're going to plant your foot on the floor. Keep your left palm pressing down. Float your right arm up and exhale. Take your right shoulder down towards the floor. And allow your forehead to rest, extending your left arm out in front of you. Getting a nice deep stretch here through our shoulders. Getting into the inner thigh and the right hip. Trying to relax here with gravity as much as you can. Connecting to your breath. And staying present in your body through all the sensations that are coming up. 
Really nice. And from here, we're going to slowly come back up. Plant the left hand back down and float your right arm up. And exhale. Gently return. Hand and knee to tabletop position. Second side. Left knee floats. Take it out beside you and drop it down. Taking some circles three times in this direction. Getting into your hip. And then switching the direction. Draw the knee in towards your chest, up and around. Two more. Last one. Good. This time, as you exhale, find a cat back. Take your knee towards your forehead. And exhale, release the leg behind you. Float it up. And then gently planting it down to the floor. Take it out beside you. Planting the sole of the foot down. Press the right palm and float the left arm. And exhale. Drop that left shoulder down towards the floor. Extending your right palm out in front of you for support. Breathing deeply into this posture. And wherever you're feeling it, surrender to the sensation. Expanding your breath. slowly press back into the right palm come up float the left arm and exhale drop everything back down into your tabletop pose and we'll let that go really nice tuck your toes send your hips high come into downward facing dog from downward dog we'll take a breath and slowly start to pedal out through the feet rising high on the ball of one foot and then the other being intuitive here, knowing exactly what you need. And then gently find stillness in your downward facing dog. Next, inhale, gazing forward towards your hands. Gently step back up to the top of your mat and lift. And exhale as you fold. Press the weight into your feet as you fly all the way up, reach the arms above your head, get as tall as possible, and exhale. Bring the palms together in front of your heart. Beautiful. Inhale, sweep the arms up, and then gently, opening through your chest, cactus your arms and fall forward. Inhale, lengthen, come up halfway. Exhale, plant your hands, step your feet back, and lower through your chaturanga. Inhale, coming into Upward Facing Dog. Exhale, taking it back, Downward Facing Dog. And take your gaze forward and gently step back up to the top of your mat. Inhale as you lift and exhale to fold. Press your feet down. Inhale, come all the way up. Reach the arms up. Exhale. Palms together in front of your heart. Again. Inhale, sweep the arms up gently here. Exhale, cactus the arms and open through the chest. And then exhale, take it all the way down. Inhale to lift. Exhale, gently step back and lower through Chaturanga. Inhale, come forward for upward facing dog. And exhale, take it all the way back. Downward facing dog. Gazing back up towards the top of the mat. Come forward again to the top of the mat and lift. And exhale, folding forward. Pressing through the feet, inhale, fly all the way up, reach the arms. Exhale, palms through heart center. Good job, one more. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, soften and open your heart. Folding forward. Inhale, lifting. Exhale. Step or jump back and lower through Chaturanga. Inhale to upward dog. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Beautiful. From here, float your left leg up towards the sky. And then exhale, draw that leg forward and through, finding your lunge. 
sinking the hips down. Really try to feel this stretch through the front of your hip and through your quadricep. And then as you exhale, straighten the front leg and fold forward. You could always drop your knee here and come into a half split instead. Inhale to come forward, sink the hips. Exhale, take it back and into a forward fold. A couple more like this, inhale, coming through. Exhale to take it back. Inhale, coming through this time to drop that right knee down and float the arms up. You can feel free to stay right here. You don't need to go any further. If you wanted to deepen this, take the right arm back to that right leg and then open up the chest and reach the left arm behind you. Wherever you are is already perfect. Surrender. Be where you are. Making your way all the way back up. From here, we're going to start to lower down towards a seated position. I want you to keep that right knee bent and you're going to plant the sit bones to the inside of that right leg. So the top of your shin, the top of your foot are pressing down beside your hip. The left leg is extended in front of you. This might already feel like enough and if it is, you could feel free to take a folded blanket underneath the left sit bone to give yourself more support or we're gonna to start to fold back onto hands or maybe onto elbows. If it feels okay, you might drop the head back. And another option would be to fold that left knee in and plant the sole of the left foot down to intensify this a little bit more. So we're stretching through the front part of your hip, through your quadricep. Getting some good compression in that right knee. Focus on your breath, let go. And being present to where you are. Nice job, slowly starting to come back up out of this posture. And from here, we're going to let the left knee fold open to the side. So if you had that leg extended, just bring it in and take the sole of the left foot to your right inner thigh. From here, let's take a twist. Take the left arm behind you, gazing over that left shoulder. Deep inhale here. As you exhale, crawl your hands around in front and simply come to stand on top of your knees. Tucking your toes behind you, we'll float the hips up. We're gonna come into half camel, half ustrasana. Reach the arms above your head and then reaching the left hand back towards that left heel, reach the right arm back behind you. And I want you to feel supported here by your foundation. Keep the hips pressing forward. up out of this and sink the hips down over top of your heels bring your hands together in front of your heart beautiful job plant your hands down in front of you step the feet back and return to your downward facing dog float your right leg up this time and then draw the knee in and through plant the foot down come into your lunge sinking the hips opening up through your chest feel the stretch here Inhale, and exhale, take it back to a forward fold. Inhale, draw it forward, bend the right knee, sink the hips down. Exhale to take it back. Remember, you can bend that left knee here. You could leave the knee on the floor the whole time. Last time coming forward and through. Exhale to take it back. And this time, as you inhale and come forward, we're gonna drop that left knee down towards the mat. And we're gonna float the arms above our head. Good, find some good reach here and stay exactly where you are or start to take it back. Maybe release that left hand to the left leg. Right arm reaching behind you, breathing deeply. 
surrender. Nice job. Inhale as you come back up. And then we'll exhale. We'll start to come forward, keeping that left knee bent. Plant the sit bones down to the inside of the left knee and extend your right leg. You can feel free to adjust here, taking that support underneath your right sit bone. Or, if it's okay, you start to lean it back to your hands or maybe to your elbow. You might fold that right knee in and plant the foot down. Perhaps dropping your head back if it feels okay. And whatever sensations you are experiencing, meeting them with compassion, finding something to let go of. From here, slowly, we'll start to lift ourselves back up. This time, allowing that right knee to open up. Take the sole of your right foot to your inner thigh and take a twist, gazing over that right shoulder. As you exhale, taking the hands around in front of you as you roll back on top of your knees. And we're going to come into that half camel on the second side. So tucking the toes, float the hips up, bring your hands together in front of your heart. Reach the arms above your head, start to press the hips forward and take the right hand back to the right heel as the left arm reaches back behind you. Keep opening your heart up towards the sky. Keep strong in your foundation and keep pressing the hips forward. Beautiful job, inhale. Coming back up, exhale. Take the hips back on top of your heels. Let that settle. And then lift up again. Keeping your toes tucked or this time you might be able to release the tops of the feet on the floor and we're going to come into full camel so you might start by taking the hands to your low back and guiding the hips forward as you release open through your chest and drop your head stay right here this is already enough you are exactly where you're supposed to be if you can go a little bit deeper you might drop the fingertips to the heels Surrendering where you are, that means you trust that you know how deep you need to go. And then inhale, bringing yourself back up. Beautiful job, releasing hips on top of the heels. Bring the knees together and then take the hands alongside you. And bring the forehead towards the floor. And that was an amazing job. Let that go. Let it settle. Reconnect to your breath here. And back bending often triggers our nervous system. So if you're noticing during your back bends that emotions are coming up, just know that that's normal. Inhale, come back up to sit on your heels, reach your arms above your head, and exhale, bring your palms together at heart center. And then go ahead and release, extend your legs forward, then we'll float the arms up and come into a forward fold. Because we're countering our back bend, feel free to round your spine here and your low back as much as you like. And gently rolling your way up. Go ahead and lie down on your back. We make our way into Shavasana. 
arms and legs relaxing on the mat. Last deep inhale here to fill your lungs. And an exhale to sigh it out. And this last chance here on your mat to completely surrender and let go. Gently wiggling your fingers and your toes. Beginning to roll through your wrists and through your ankles. And drawing your legs together, float your arms above your head, taking that last long stretch. Rolling over onto one side, pausing there for a moment. And then inhaling, coming back up to your comfortable seated position. Bring your hands together in front of your heart. What does it mean to let go of what no longer serves you? And how can you bring this idea with you, this idea of surrender, into the rest of your day. Rubbing your palms together, generate some heat between your hands, place them over top of your closed eyes and inhale. And exhale, let it go. Thank you so much. Stepping into light, day five, done. And I will see you tomorrow for day six. Namaste.